We all know that AI can now be used to greatly enhance our images and our creative processes. Inside Photoshop, we're going to have a look at neural filters, which will really give you the option to speed up your workflow and create stunning designs each and every time. So what exactly are neural filters and why do we need to use them? Well, simply put, neural filters are the ability to be able to generate complex graphic design work using Photoshop AI in a very quick result. Let's have a look at some of them in action. We're going to start with a nice makeup exercise. We're going to duplicate these layers three times, Command and J on a Mac, Control and J on a PC. We're going to double click into the second layer. We're going to name this one Skin. Uh, click into the middle one, we'll call that one Lips. And top section we are going to call, we're going to call this Eyes. I'm going to click away from it, turn off the visibility of those two and select onto the second layer. I'm going to go to Filter, Neural Filters and from the Neural pop-up box I'm going to first apply my skin smoothing. Little adjustments there on it, not much. This will give a, a kind of a near, a shape of kind of a base makeup going onto the original image. I'm going to compare there. You can see it has it greatly improved it. I'm just going to let that layer carry that. I'm going to turn on the layer for the lips. And this time, when I go to my neural filters again, I'm going to employ one that makeup transfer. A little bit of a description there on the right hand side. I'm going to activate. And from here, I'm going to choose an image that I think is the kind of lip colors that I want to use within my design. I have a few examples here. So I'm going to show you one. Click onto that. And you see instantly the AI, the Adobe Sensei kicks in there and it colors it based on what's in that image. A bit too red for my liking there. So I'm going to click into this image here. And I think this will give me a little more subtle. Yeah, I like the lips. Not mad about the makeup. It's a little bit on the eyes, but we we'll, we'll, won't be using that on this particular example. So I'm going to click onto my eyes. I'm going to do the same process through the neural filters into my makeup transfer. I'm going to change it to a different image this time. I'm going to click onto this one here. And it's giving me this particular look. Give a little second. And there we go. Still a bit strong, but I can deal with that um, within Photoshop itself. But the basis of what we have there, the ability to be able to put them onto it is fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add masks here by holding Alt Option down and uh, clicking on the mask icon. I get the black inverted version and I go over here to my colors and make sure that I have white loaded up in. I go to my brush I'm going to change it to a soft, soft edge on that and also make sure my opacity is set to 100%. Now I can mouse over the lips, which is reading in from the photograph. So in other words, when we introduce white into our masks, we can see the image, the original image that was applied to it. If I click here into the makeup, exactly the same principle. I can brush in makeup effect from the image and the eyes that was applied. And over to this one, not to the eyebrow there, but it's a bit strong. It's taking a pure 100% reading. So I'm going to Reduce the opacity. I'm going to swap it back to black because black hides, which means because it's only half the opacity, I can kind of take away half the effect so I can blend it in much nicer into the original image itself. And these processes, the neural filters and the masking elements really add up to giving us what was something would have in the olden days would have taken a lot longer to have to prepare just using Photoshop by a step by step basis. So fantastic. Love that option. In this next example, we're going to look at smart portraits inside neural filters. We click in, we mouse over, we get a little description on what it does, and when we're ready, we click on the little toggle to enable it. Now, smart portrait is going to allow us to change the expression on the face we're working with. I say we, but really it's the AI that's going to kick in to do the job for us. So you can see I can make him happy there, I can make him a little bit more happy, if that's possible, okay. Uh, you can see it's done a great job bar the ear. So sometimes these the artifacts are going to happen and we can, at certain times, depending on the photograph, have access to masks to be able to uh, fix and change, but not a lot we can do. That's something I would probably fix by using healing tools inside Photoshop once I've applied uh, the OK on this smart portrait, but 90% of the work's done there for me. Let's have a go with the facial age here. I'm going to make him a little bit younger, click of a button. If only we could do that in real life, right? I'm going to make them a little older. So I'm going to drag it right up to the top there and see the full extreme. Again, very, very good. Quick, instant AI doing the job for us. Absolutely amazing. If I had to do this myself, um, I would be here a long day getting to those results. And even then, may not even get to be that good. Um, I'm going to just move it up here, changing the eye direction there to the right. Very shifty. And move it over there to the left-hand side. You can see it's amazing what we can change inside. Make him a little bit angry, 
I'm a little bit not so angry. And head direction. Head directions are kind of a strange one. It does kind of twist the shape and also creates these artifacts. But I can change the mask here on this particular photograph and it kind of does a decent job on shifting its position. I prefer the facial age, being honest with you, and the eye direction. I think they're pretty natural in what they do. I'm going to click it onto a new layer, click OK. And there, if I toggle between the two, there's the original and there's the finished version. I think that's a very, for clicking two buttons and getting those results so quickly, absolutely fantastic AR. Do check back for more videos in the series on neural filters.